expect disappointment and you will never get disappointed. This was me before the event. I did not know what to expect or if Apple would live up to expectations. But Apple did what they do every time. Under promise and over deliver. We saw a lot of cool features of iOS 16 in WW event, but Apple didn't mention a lot of features that are new this time. So let us have a look at 15 crazy features of iOS 16 because they are pretty cool. Just like my man Craig. Let's start with the biggest changes of iOS 16. Yes, lock screen animations. Apple finally extended their customization features to the lock screen. Now you can change the fonts, add widgets, have multi-layer photo effects and live activities. The next pretty big change in iOS 16 is in messages. Now you can save yourself from embarrassment because now in messages, you can unsend messages and you can edit sent messages as well. Now point to note is that whenever you edit or unsend a message, it does send a notification to the receiver. So it's not completely discreet. The next feature is pretty cool. So this one is more of a gimmick than a feature, but it's pretty cool. So now you can separate subject from images just by long pressing on them and you can share them as PNG photo on any app you want. Also, you can put them on Instagram stories as stickers. So go ahead and make your friends into memes. Live text also got a pretty major change in iOS 16. In iOS 16, live text is not just limited to photos. You can pause the video at any frame and extract text. Fellow coders take charge. Also, live text now allows you to convert currencies and translate languages. Next feature is for those people who love tracking their fitness but do not have an Apple Watch. iOS 16 now brings step tracking and activity rings to the iPhone, which means now you can count your steps and close workout rings all through your iPhone without needing an Apple Watch. You know I love Memojis. And on iOS 16, these precious Memojis got a pretty upgrade too. iOS 16 brings more customization to Memojis, more hairstyles, clothing options, and cool new accessories to better match your style. One truly mind-blowing feature of iOS 16 is Personalized Spatial Audio. The Spatial Audio on AirPods was pretty cool, but now you can personalize it even further. Using the True Depth camera on your iPhone scans your dimension and that's it. It syncs across all your devices. Now these features were already announced by Apple, but apart from them, there is a list of features that Apple didn't talk about. Let's start with my favorite, Keyboard Haptics. And all you need to do is go to Settings, tap on Sound and Haptics, scroll down and there you have it, Keyboard Haptics. Tap on it and you have a separate option to control haptics on your keyboard. iOS 16 also lets you see your saved Wi-Fi passwords. You can do this in Wi-Fi menu by tapping on the Wi-Fi you want to view password of and there you have it, a separate section for password. One super important feature of Photos app is hidden in folders. One feature that was practically useless till now. Now you can add the protection of Face ID to your hidden photos to make them truly hidden. This feature comes in enabled by default but you can enable it or disable it in settings under the photo section. We all have clutter of photos on our iPhone. And to be honest, most of them are just duplicates. But now in iOS 16, we do get an option to merge all duplicate photos in Photos app itself. This is simple as ever. There is a section for duplicate photos in the Photos app itself, and you can merge multiple duplicate photos just with that app. Talking about duplicates, you also get an option to merge duplicate contacts as well. Right in your contacts app, you can see if you have any duplicate contacts and you can merge them. How cool is that? Apple made the spotlight search on iPhone more accessible than ever by bringing it to the bottom of the screen. But if you find it annoying, you can simply turn it off. Just go to settings, tap on home screen and you can toggle off for show spotlight. Like the clip that you just saw, Apple made some changes to cinematic mode too. It now has a more crisp bokeh and better edge detection. Just like cinematic mode, portrait mode has gotten some major upgrades as well. Now you can blur the object in the foreground too. So you can draw all the attention just on the subject. And that's everything we found cool in iOS 16 till now. But we are still digging. So stay tuned with us. Tell me in the comments down below which feature did you like the most. And if you liked what you watched, then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button. And make sure you hit the notification bell as well to stay updated with everything Apple. Also, don't forget to install the iGeeks blog app on App Store to dig deep in Apple-related content. My name is Yash and I'll see you in the next one.